Hello everybody and welcome back to another vlog. I thought I would just vlog today. Oh, what's nice to go out? I kind of didn't really know what video to do today. Look at me. Something's gone wrong. Um, so I thought let's just vlog the day. I'm only starting vlogging now and it's like 11 o'clock. So basically what I've done today is I've woken up. I've done the Hit Honeys workout, which is what I'm doing every morning, Monday to Friday, on my story. It's a little hit workout with my friend Ella. Uh, for those that have been following my Instagram for ages, Ella is the OG bestie that I used to work out with at the gym all the time when we lived together in Wellington. We lived together, but we both lived in Wellington. Uh, and we did like the BBG, Kayla had seen us BBG together. And that was at the very start of my journey. So my journey, my Instagram, whatever, you get the idea. And so we decided to do like live workouts and we're basically kind of taking the exercises from BBG and then just ones that, you know, you do at E45 or whatever uh, and do a little hit thing. So we do that every single morning, Monday to Friday. <laughs> it's only our second day, but hi, we're doing it. So join that if you want to. So I woke up, did that at 8 a.m. here which is like 11 o'clock in New Zealand. It's just such a good way to get me out of bed because otherwise I'd sort of, you know, just be like still chilling at about 8.30 and then finally get up. So that's why I'm looking like this. Then I took Wilson for a walk. We went for quite a big walk. I came home and I've just been doing emails and stuff. So I'm about to make a coffee and I thought I would show you that. I don't know why this isn't focusing, but I was gonna try and show you what I'm wearing. Hang on. So I'm wearing, this is the Jazz and Stacks collection. I've got my spoon because I was literally halfway through making my coffee, my protein coffee, which I'll show you in a second. Um, this is the Jazz Stacks collection, bra and tights, and then I've just got my Sasuke crop over the top, which actually launched today. So that's cute. I don't even know if I'm in um, focus, but... Okay, so literally all it is, I've been doing this for a while, and I remember the first time I did it, someone messaged me and they were like, uh, because whey protein breaks down when it's heated up, it doesn't still work or something like that, but I did a bit of research and some people say it doesn't, some people say it does. Anyway, you're not doing it super hot, like it's not like you're boiling it or anything. So basically what, do you, what you do is you boil the jug. I just use Makona coffee, this is the hazelnut one, but the caramel one's yum as well. To be honest, you can't really taste the flavor much, but it feels a bit nicer than just your usual black coffee. So I boil the jug, I fill half of my cup up with hot water from the jug and coffee. So like two spoons of that in there. Uh, then I blend up my normal serve of protein. So this is the vanilla coconut, so it's gonna be like a vanilla coconut coffee protein situation. Um, the salted caramel one's also yum. You can do chocolate flavor protein to like do a bit of a mocha, but it's really up to you. Use whatever protein you like. I like the likes one because it's quite sweet. So it just, you know, just goes together quite well. You blend that up with a little bit of water. I probably used a little bit too much. Oh, actually most of that's froth. Froth, froth. Um, and I blend it up in the Nutribullet. You can shake it, but blending it up in the Nutribullet makes it more um, like frothy basically okay so now you've got your mini protein shake and your coffee let me put that down and then this is the most important part as you pour this in so this isn't boiling hot like that's just like a hot black coffee um and then this is like lukewarm water like i didn't use cold water or anything i just used water out the tap and so as you pour it in you want to really slowly pour it and mix at the same time. So I'm just like going back and forward with my spoon. Let me show you. So you can't stir and pour at the same time, but that's basically what it is. So you pour it slowly. See how frothy it goes? It's so good. Oh, bye. That's a cafe, sorry. Like don't even talk to me. And it's so filling because you're literally getting like a whole protein shake in there. Um, coffee. And so then obviously it's not going to be like super hot. But drinkable straight away. Mmm. Honestly amazing. 
and it's like so perfect when you're coming into the winter months as well you know like you just don't feel like a big cold freezing icy protein shake you can make a protein shake coffee so cheers to that i'm honestly obsessed with this little setup on this table got my designer books that i haven't read <laughs> my apsley and co candle and my coral that i got from some weird shop okay so i've stripped my bed off i'm washing my sheets i normally do it on a sunday but i don't know why we didn't do it last sunday for some reason not sure anyway i'm doing it now um i also still have this on because i cut my hand the other day when i was trying to open a jar completely sliced through it so that's real cute I wouldn't completely sli slice through it did i um but i sliced down it so i've got like a steri strip on it holding it shut and just hoping that it's gonna heal it will i don't know why i'm being so dramatic but i am filming a tiktok i just did the first bit it's that one that goes like what the hell is beauty mode what is this doing and then you go like that and then you like are amazing after so i've just done the first bit and i'm about to do my makeup so i can do the second bit okay that's actually a different person hi i did like a bit of a i don't even know what with the shanixo XO Beauty Heaps of Sweets palette. Did a bit of a warm brown eye. I've got a Kylie Jenner lip liner in, I think, coconut. And then I've got a Fenty lip gloss over the top. So I'm going to finish my TikTok. I feel like I might put a different um, outfit on, actually. You're so cute. You are so cute. Okay, the fact that I'm actually glammed up in the kitchen, making banana bread, I can't. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, actually I think I did in my last vlog that I had a whole lot of bananas in my fridge going gross. And apparently someone said don't put them in the fridge because then they go brown all over like that quicker. But you know, who was I to know I'm not a banana eater? most of the time unless it's in a cake or a bread which is what we're doing today i got this from supermarket because we don't have like all the you know how some households have like sugar baking soda flour probably most households ours um doesn't like we kind of just get stuff as we need it so i thought the easiest option was to get like a banana bread box bake situation so this one all i need to add is one and a half cups of mashed ripe bananas two thirds of a cup of olive oil a quarter of a cup of milk and two eggs so i'm just gonna follow the instructions i've got the oven on 160 i've got my loaf container thing that i got from the supermarket as well which is bloody expensive jamie i love one good quality and i've got my coke no sugar which i also bought from the supermarket because i felt like it and now i've still got three left did I say eggs? I also have to add eggs. It's perfect. Okay, so first step, preheat the oven, line the loaf tin with non-stick baking paper. This is so stressful. Move it all. Right. Surely I can just rip off a bit. I love um, cooking, but I'm not very good at baking. I feel like with cooking you can kind of um, wing it a wee bit. Like you can fix stuff and you kind of do it as you go. Whereas with baking, like, what's that? With baking it's either right or wrong. Do you know what I mean? Surely once I pour the mixture in it's going to like weigh it down. Maybe I'll cut the edges off so they don't um, burn. There we go. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. These bananas like aren't opening, so. Oh, what's happened? Surely if I just like oh yeah. Slice down. Oh yeah, that's alright. Whoa, see the banana is actually fine. It's almost like not even ripe. That's what it is. Surely it'll still work. It's got to. 
Wait, one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, about four bananas. Okay, what happens if there's extra banana, like, is it still gonna work? Because it would just be a bit more, like, dense, eh? I feel like that's pretty well mashed up. I can't see any massive chunks of banana. That's what we're dealing with at the moment. Quarter of a cup of milk. Oh yeah, it's fuck all, so it should be right. Quarter of a cup. That's about it. Two thirds of a cup of oil. So where's two thirds? What's that? One half. So I'm just See, this is the whole thing. I don't have a proper measuring thing. So I'm just literally winging it. Let me just double check that. Oil, two thirds of a cup. That is two thirds like, just like there's no thing on here. So do you reckon it's between half and one? Yeah. Right. I'm just gonna like slowly put bits of this in because otherwise, We're gonna end up with a bloody disaster. It's looking good, boys. Slowly add a bit more. I am Donna Hay. Donna Hay. Yeah, that's thickening up quite nicely. It's gonna be so yum. I haven't got any chocolate chips or anything to put in it though, which is, you know, a bit of a letdown on my behalf. But that's all right. We'll just load it up with butter. You know the drill. This is actually coming together. Why am I surprised, eh? <laughs> Literally followed the box, all the instructions, and I'm still like, whoa, amazing. I don't know, there's something about baking, eh? Like, it's actually really hard, because you sort of like, once it's, once you've done the mixture and it's in the oven, you can't save it, whereas as you're cooking, like, you know, you add too much water, you can like cook it off, you can, you know? I don't know, I just feel like baking is so much harder maybe it like depends on what kind of person you are like if you're the type of person that just like wings stuff cooking is for you and then if you're the type that like you know follows the rules and likes yes and no and like black and white then baking is good for you hmm let me know down below if you're like a baker or a cook and then like what kind of person you are, whether you just like wing it through life. Because I 100% wing it. Like that is basically me in a nutshell. Okay. My hand is literally cramping up. Pour. Okay. Amazing. Pour mixture into prepared tin and bake for 55 minutes to an hour. Sorry. Does that seem like a really long time or is that normal? 55 minutes. What do you mean, sis? Right. Attempting to pour it into here. This is where it could really go quite pear shaped. Oh no. Hang on. Is it gonna rise? Like, is that gonna rise up? Oh no. Do I need to make two? Maybe I make two. Cause that's like almost full on there. Yeah, maybe I make two. So I'm gonna cook it for less time. I know. I'll just check it. I'll chuck it in for like 20 minutes and I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna make two though, cause I reckon if I pour any more in there, it's gonna get, you know, inside the baking, like between the baking paper and the side. That's going on. Oh well, get two for the price of bloody one. How good's that? I go through stages of being like obsessed with something. So right now, it's coke, and then I'll be like obsessed with kombucha, and then I'll be like, what else have I become, become obsessed with? I've been obsessed with like Red Bull before. Sweet. Please don't, Wilson. Please don't. Been obsessed with Red Bull, like a nice cold Red Bull, but like only for two days. It's only like a short period of time. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just going to unload the dishwasher while I'm waiting and then 
blow the dishwasher and then have like a real clean kitchen and then when the banana bread comes out it'll be like sitting here on the bench and I might have a candle burning and the kitchen will be clean and the house will smell amazing and I'll just be amazing. Okay guys, I feel like that was in for like 40 minutes. I put the knife in a couple times and it definitely wasn't done. So, we'll see. I'm just gonna let it cool. I've got all of this mixture, so I'm gonna make a whole nother one. So that's quite good. I suppose that loaf thing is quite small, but pretty decent, pretty decent. Okay, it's cooled a bit. So we're gonna try some. Peter's here. Oh, it's it. still, it's still hot, but no, okay, is it? Mm. Yum. We'll save this for now while it's still hot. Okay. Do you reckon? Yeah. It looks so good. Let me show. All oh, that lighting's all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. That's not right. Maybe that like, hold the camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at that. Delicious. It almost smells like a bit like cinnamony, gingery. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. That's so yum. Yo. Mm. Mm. That's perfect, Dave. Mm mm mm. What just ate that whole loaf by tomorrow? Mm. Dinner is served. Can you look, babe? <laughs> One loaf each, babe. Yeah. One loaf each. I said I'm just gonna end my vlog, and Vita said I'm just gonna end this banana bread. Are you already having another? He's cut a big chunk off. I've literally turned my back for two seconds, and he's already cut a big chunk off. I thought you said the video was already ending. Yeah, it's not about the video. Anyway, <laughs> ending the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. We are just going to... Fuck yeah. What are we doing? Oh. I need to get a photo. And then we'll have dinner and then we'll go to bed. But I feel like this video is already going to be long enough because I baked a whole banana loaf. I'm amazing. Thank you very oh. much. Thank you. Come on, get a grip. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.